Hey everyone, today I'm in Little India. Today I want to talk about what's it like to sketch outdoors with an iPad. Little India is a very busy place and there are many interesting shops to draw. Today's weather is not that good for drawing because there are no shadows but at least it's not hot. Alright, I think I'm going to draw that shop across the street. It's a bit risky drawing here because I'm not sure when the sun is going to come out. Today is a cloudy day so you should be fine. The first thing I like about the iPad when it comes to drawing outdoors is it's incredibly convenient. You can just pull this out from your bag, open up the app and you can start drawing and when you're done with your drawing you don't have to clean up anything. There's no water to pour away, there's no watercolor box to wipe clean. So incredibly convenient, very easy to draw with. I have applied a matte screen protector on my iPad Pro. This is to reduce reflections and this is the brightness you can get when you are outdoors. This is right now at maximum brightness. Just for comparison, this is the iPad 2018 without the matte screen protector. So this is how the reflection looks like. Now with the matte screen protector, um, it sort of gives that white glaze over the whole screen so the colors still look relatively good but the contrast is definitely affected because of the white glaze. The white glaze is one significant reason not to use a matte screen protector because the look is quite irritating. So this is the scene I'm going to sketch. The first thing I want to do is to take a reference photo in case the weather changes later on. So this is one good thing about the iPad. You can take a photo that you can use later on. All right, let's draw. I'm going to use blue lines to divide my canvas into different areas so that when I zoom in and zoom out, I will know where I'm at. This app that I'm using, this is called Procreate. Now there are many wonderful features here. For example, you can hold down a line like this and it will make that line straight. Another advantage of drawing digitally is if you make any mistake, you can actually erase or undo. I got the angle of this thing wrong. As I expected, the weather has changed. It has started to drizzle, so I can no longer sit outside to draw. I have to now hold my iPad and stand and draw. But thankfully, the sketch is almost done. I just need to fill in some details. One of the downsides to drawing digitally is sometimes when palm rejection doesn't work, it will introduce straight strokes somewhere in your sketch and you have to correct them later on. But most of the time, palm rejection works pretty well. Uh, sometimes when it doesn't work, you have to go back and uh, make some corrections. This is the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Whenever I have to stand and draw with it, I will place it against my body to take some of the weight off. If I hold it with one hand like this, it's going to get tiring very quickly because when I hold it like this, the weight is going to the other side and the time it gets very tiring very fast. You can see some of the rain droplets on the iPad now. Coloring is really easy because you just pick any color from the color wheel. You don't have to mix colors like as if you are using watercolor or oil or other medium. This sketch is almost complete. Battery life is actually quite fantastic. I have been drawing for one hour and the battery live drop maybe 15% and bear in mind that this is at maximum brightness and also when you're drawing at maximum brightness the iPad this tablet is going to get a bit warm today is still not bad today is still quite a cloudy day but on a sunny day it can get really hot so this is it this is the completed sketch let me show you the line up so this is how it looks like without any colors this is with colors and with some overlay. And here's the screenshot of the sketch that I have just drawn. And let me show you the time-lapse video of how I created this sketch. So one good thing about the iPad is you can undo and there is an unlimited number of colors you can choose from. But the downside is Maybe perhaps the iPad is too versatile, so you can undo a lot of times. There are so many colors to choose from. It can actually get a bit overwhelming at times. If you're just painting with your watercolor set with a limited number of colors, sometimes you don't have to think too much. You don't have to overthink, and you can just uh, paint with the existing colors that you have. But 
when you are with the iPad, there are so many different types of brushes, so many different colors to choose from. Sometimes there is this、uh, choice paralysis because there are too many choices. This app that I'm using, this is Procreate. I'm still trying to find my favorite brush and my drawing style on it. The overall experience of using the iPad Pro outdoors for drawing it's pretty good. I don't really have any complaints about it. Oh, this is interesting. You don't need Wi-Fi to draw outdoors. That's one thing.、Um, brightness is good enough. Overall responsiveness is as you would expect with an iPad Pro. It's fantastic. Now, personally, I still prefer. Traditional media because of the tactile feel.、Uh, my iPad Pro,、mm, I think it takes a while to get used to drawing digitally, especially if you are going fully digital. So what else can I say?、Um, it's very compact. The 12.9 inch is a bit heavy, so you cannot use it with one hand. But the 11 inch version, you can definitely use it with one hand. So that's my experience of sketching with the iPad Pro under the sun.、Um, oh, there's no sun today. But anyway, you get the idea. All right. Thanks for watching today's video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.